When I get married and I'm walking down the aisle, you're not gonna hear that Here Comes the Bride music. No, you're gonna hear this. Oh, finally you're here, bitch. You got a dollar? So I can go get a slushie. You're fucking lying. Let me see. Open your purse. I see it right there. Give it. Give me your dollar. <laughs> I've seen friends turn to junkies with no purpose out of money. Can I spend the night? I really need to crash. My shit is gone out of pawn shop, fucking tweaker. Took my laptop, burned a bridge. For some dope and some cash I'm trailer trash Drunk off my ass And my savings went to liquor So I'm all out of cash This is what some drinks sound like, part two So one of the most memorable things somebody has ever said to me in bed uh, was this one time freshman year, I was cuddling with this guy and um, he was the big spoon. And he goes, so have you always been this small? And I didn't say anything. And I was like, um, yeah. And it was like quiet for a second. And he was like, sorry. <laughs> and like, we're good now. But I was like, eh. You just pointed out one of my really big insecurities. The trap in the entire Saw franchise is the glass coffin trap from Saw 5. Let me tell you a bit about it. So basically you have this dude, FBI agent Peter Strom, and this guy who's in the coffin, Mark Hoffman. Mark Hoffman is a police officer, but more importantly, he's one of Jigsaw's apprentices. And Strom has finally figured it out and he's trying to chase Hoffman down. When Strom gets to Hoffman's location, he finds this trap set up. And he finds a tape there that says the only way that he will get to safety is if he gets in the coffin and the trap will begin. But Strom thinks this is a setup, so he takes Mark Hoffman, the apprentice, and throws him in the coffin instead, assuming that he will have to deal with the trap. But Hoffman tricks Agent Strong. The only way to survive the trap is to get into the coffin so it will start. The coffin goes into the floor and then all the walls around him crush Agent Strong. So Agent Strong, while he thought this was a good idea, does not make it out alive. Mark Hoffman, however, does survive. And no one else becomes suspicious of him as an apprentice until the next movie. Today I'm going to talk about how the Connor the Cow Squishmallow became rare. So when I first started really getting into collecting Squishmallows in May 2020, having Connor the Cow was not a huge deal. You know, because he wasn't rare yet. 
And for the longest time, all through summer 2020 and for most of fall 2020, the 16 inch Connor the Cow was on the Walgreens website all the time. Like nobody was buying it. He was just there chilling on their website. And you could get him for 20 bucks and have it shipped to your store for free. And what usually happens with the 16 inch Squishmallows on the Walgreens website is after a while they'll put them on sale for 10 bucks. Right? And that's like a super good deal, so somebody blew it up on TikTok. More people started seeing it and posting about it more. And what were the two Squishmallows that everybody bought? You guessed it, the Connor the Cow and the Wendy the Frog. All because of TikTok, now those two are rare.